I woke early on a Sunday morning, and for a moment I wondered what it would feel like to run a restaurant. The chairs had been turned up and hung on the back of my kitchen island from the mopping I had done the night before, and the cups were turned upside down drying on a flower print tea towel. It was then that I thought of my great great grandmother Agatha, and what her days must have been like. Agatha was the woman behind the counter at a small cafe in the north in the early forties, one of the only restaurants in town that opened its doors to the indigenous peoples. She sold booze under the table and hit bottles over heads when things got too rowdy. She also knew how to make the best homemade pies. Her father steered one of the boats in the Red River Rebellion. My great-grandfather, Louis, on my papa's side, his par Louis's parents were from North Dakota. His mother traveled to Canada as a widow with all her children, but sadly some died along the way. In order to get by, she ran a brothel before leaving for Canada. As a teenager, her only surviving son fell in love with my great Cree grandmother Agatha. They ran away together, traveling in a wagon hundreds of miles just to elope because racial intermarriage was frowned upon, but their love proved inseparable. As a young boy, Louis remembers seeing Louis Riel's body being brought back home in a casket casket after his public hanging. Hi, my name is Catherine Lafferty and my daddy name is Katlia. I'm from Saint Bacay, Northwest Territories, and I'm here standing on the Latham Island Bridge in Yellowknife. And this bridge leads from the old town to um, to the Latham Island area where uh, the community of Dilo is on the very end of the peninsula. So I just wanted to show you um, this little trading post over there, uh, kind of hidden in the shadows of that big blue house, is a place where um, there used to be a restaurant called the Rex Cafe and the Rex Cafe was one of the first restaurants on this side of the island and it was actually owned by my grandfather's parents um, Louis Lassard and Agatha Lassard and so this whole road here is called Lassard Road because of that and the Rex Cafe was one of um, a really popular restaurant um, for a lot of people especially um, because it was one of the only places in town that served food to the indigenous people and actually allowed them into their establishment. Um, because my grandmother Agatha was um, part Cree, so she, um, yeah, she she was not racist by any means, and so. I just wanted to share with you this little piece of history here and now it used to be CKLB radio station I'm not sure uh, what happened to that but now it's called the Sundog Trading Post so the building has actually since moved that that's just the lot where it used to be the building has moved to another location in Dilo which I'll show you after this clip One more little interesting piece of information is that this bridge connecting the old town to Latham Island and Dilo, this small body of water here um, used to be the area where a raft was set up so that people had to actually pay a small fee to get across this small body of water to the other side where there was a liquor store and people would actually pay to get across. So whoever had that little raft um, probably made a pretty good couple bucks. All right, so I'm standing here in the Old Town parking lot and uh, behind me is the building that uh, was, had many owners. Uh, I think at first it was 
Sutherland's Drugs and then it ended up being Rex Cafe and it got moved to it's still in Old Town it's got moved to a new location it looks like it's a house now it looks like somebody had put stairs on the front of it uh, it must have had good bones to have been moved that much um, but yeah so that is the old Rex Cafe so if you're ever wondering on your way down the hill in Yellowknife and you're looking at this red looking building and wondering you know what the history is behind it that's a little piece of Old Town history for you All right, so can you guess where I'm standing right now? This is a very historic building that I'm standing in the back of. I am standing in the back of the Wildcat Cafe where my grandmother worked for a dollar a day washing dishes. And she, you know, she worked here for quite a long time. And I often wonder, you know, around the same time that she was here working washing dishes, my papa, Edward Lassard, was a young man. He was probably early 20s and he was working in the restaurant helping out his mother and his dad in the restaurant at the Rex Cafe just down the road from here. So I often wonder, you know, did he just kind of waltz on into the wildcat one day and he fell in love with my grandma at first sight? I unfortunately didn't have a chance to ever really ask them about their uh, love story and how they first met each other but it would be pretty neat if they had um, just met on a whim from restaurant to restaurant so yeah that's my story um, take care